What's going on everyone? This is Mr. Pylil and today I am bringing you a Battlefield 3 random generator video. So yeah, as you can see on the screen right now, this is what I am using. Uh, Mr. Recon with the M4A5 with um, holographic scope and science. So as you can see my secondary is a suppressed M9 pistol, so I'm pretty much screwed. I decided to go hop into a TDM game on Z-Bar Tower. Um, just because I thought, yeah, it would be the quickest one for me to do. Um, and it turns out I did, I did all right. Um, like, uh, I was really going to do a live country with this, but then I realised, I thought, nah, all the other live countries I've done in the past, they haven't really turned out too great, as my laptop was pretty shit. Um, so yeah. Oh well. Um, but as you can see in the video, um, I'm putting in basically all the kills I got during the match and a lot of the deaths but not all of the deaths because the, I did go even you'll see at the end what the score was I'm not going to break any hearts right now but yeah um, it was a pretty it was actually a pretty decent game I do go well most of the time where I went ham as such um, I was using the pistol <laughs> but the pistol did save my life quite a few times I mean especially one part um, I mean r right here really just as you just the clip you just saw then the pistol saved me like so much um but yeah um this match was originally about 20 minutes long i've cut it down to five minutes that is why you're only seeing clips and bits of it because i think because i can't re i can't not i cannot find a vanilla server anywhere anywhere on xbox it's ridiculous it's all 300 percent tickets and yeah let's do it until everyone's dead like for a half an hour match on tdm which should only take about six minutes yeah because if you just want to go and hop on tdm and find a quick game like you used to be able to do to put on youtube like, no 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 now you have to play a long 300 ticket game and then cut it down and piss yourself well, it's just so annoying but anyway off that subject right now um, there is, there is, ah, this part here, when I kill that guy there, he was sitting down that hall for the entire match, and I was just like, bitch, move. So I killed him, and he didn't go back there for that the entire game, so I was pretty happy with that, I was like, yeah, bitch, done my job, fuck you in the face. Um, but yeah, um, ah, so, 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 uh, uh, oh god, uh, this just popped into my head right now, I mean, yeah, the, the gun is crap okay don't use it do never use this just don't ever use this loadout ever i mean take the suppressor off yeah you might have a better chance apart from that no just don't use it anyway um yesterday i mean the olympics hasn't officially started yet which i don't see why they're doing the events now already but yesterday in the women's football um it was north korea against great britain i'm not really too sure who north korea are playing actually i think i honestly have no idea what i know is north korea were playing and the Olympic organisers thought it would be a good idea to basically doom the rest of the world and put South Korea's flag up instead of North Korea's. And apparently, according to David Cameron, it was a human error. Massive quotation marks enter here. It is just ridiculous, man. North Korea and South Korea, that technically they're still at war from the 50s. It's ridiculous, okay? Technically, there's no declaration or piece of documentation or anything to say that they're now at peace with each other technically they're still at war with each other and you do not want to piss off north korea in that way you do not want to do that if you do that you're just begging to be nuked because everyone knows that they have like technically concentration camps like work camps and everything because this guy he got out went to america told everyone and yeah all that happened and now the u.s government know where all these concentration camps are as such or work camps in north korea um and it's you know that they're building weapons of mass destruction like nuclear bombs and everything because they're like bitch we don't allow anyone out unless it's for a sports event and even if they lose we probably kill them but you don't know about it because we don't tell anyone else in the world what happens apart when our leader dies and then we force our people to cry and if they don't cry then we will shoot them and it's just, it's ridiculous but anyway you don't want to piss off north korea like that because you piss off north korea like that i mean I'd, I'd say give it about five weeks or something if they piss off North Korea again in any way, shape or form. If they say North Korea, you're gay. Or North Korea, you just you don't know how to run a country, mate. And they'll be like, yeah, okay, do you want to get nuked? Okay, you're going to get nuked. So give it five weeks or something. Uh, I guarantee you. I don't guarantee you because some dickhead will probably place a bet. But yeah. 
Uh, we probably won't be here. But anyway, this is the end of the gameplay. This is a kind of rant on how shit the Olympics was and how crap the gun is. So yeah, um, hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, see you guys and peace.